Welcome to another Gift as Goddess podcast. It's your host, Idol. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about Think and Grow Rich and how it's a spiritual book. So let's get straight into it. In chapter 12, The Subconscious Mind, Napoleon Hill goes, everything which man creates begins in the form of a thought impulse. So here you can already tell he's talking about thought forms. Essentially, a thought form is... So we've got three different planes which we manifest from or which we need in the manifestation process. We've got the mental faculty, which is your thinking mind, in which the thought forms are actually created, formed, shaped. Then you fuse it with emotions. So that's the emotional faculty that you're using. And then you go into the physical action, taking action towards that vision that you put out. And you need all those three because we've got mental faculty, emotional faculty, and physical faculty. Or like a a mental plane, emotional plane, and physical plane. And all three of them combined is what actually draws you towards your manifestation. For example, imagine you are walking down the street and you see a woman in a blue dress. And then you have a thought of, oh my gosh, that dress is really nice. That blue color really suits her. Wow. And then that's it, right? So you carry on about your day. She carries on about her day. And as she goes around the corner, some man stops and thinks, oh, that's a really nice dress. Wow. So those thought forms, the second thought form from that man attached itself to your thought forms. Like attracts like. So thought forms attract like-minded thought forms. And with these thought forms, you can bless somebody like in that situation you're kind of like blessing that woman you're like oh that that's a really nice dress like looks good on her it's a good thought that you're sending out right so a good thought is also sticking around in your aura because you created that thought form for that woman in that blue dress but at the same time because you it was sent out through your aura it or through you it will remain in your auric field and then now you will attract like like-minded or like thought forms thought forms like that are similar to that thought form so that woman for example in our example she in the morning put on a dress looked in the mirror was like oh this dress is a nice dress and it's like oh blue is a nice color and went out which means she was the originator of that thought form and then as you saw her you blessed her with a thought form of that dress is nice it suits her blue looks good on her and then the other man then around the corner blessed her as well it goes the same way if you were to think a negative thought form and think like oh my gosh that dress who does she think she is you're sending that out and that's gonna attach itself to her auric field but also will linger in yours so that's why we have to be mindful which thought forms we actually entertain sent out whether what we're doing is congruent with our how we align ourselves how we are aligned that's why when we're thinking we have to be the observer of our thoughts are these thoughts wholesome are they kind do they align with the values of myself do they align to my greatest version um and then take it from there then point number two here napoleon hill says all thought impulses intended for transmutation into their physical equivalent voluntarily planted into subconscious mind must pass through the imagination and be mixed with faith so in this in this aspect or in this book when he talks about faith he talks about the emotional plane so faith like the knowing that something is yours like for example going to work and you know that promotion is yours because you know like last year you pulled in a hundred million for the company um the clients really like you and you've got great work ethic and the colleagues you know you're maybe the the colleague of the month all the time or something like that so you have this inner confidence so having faith means you have a an emotional confidence, a spiritual confidence. It's not like confidence like within your ability, more like confidence within your spirit, confidence within your soul, 
confidence within the connection of divine that is the confidence that it's actually most important because if you have confidence within the universe within the divine within your spirit within you know the grand scheme of things you always have faith so obviously in this context napoleon hill um describes faith as you know the spiritual confidence so moving on so we have thought forms uh, that's the mental faculty we have faith which is emotional faculty and then we also have so here i quote napoleon hill create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once to put this plan into action that's the physical he's talking about the physical action so the physical faculty because sitting there and imagining it and putting faith into it it's all nice and dandy but if you don't move off your butt nothing is going to happen he is also mentioning that you don't actually need to know every single step within within your um within your journey but you need to begin you have a plan and begin to put in into action the reason being even if you think about back to the blue dress analogy thought forms attach itself to other thought forms that are similar which means when you are moving yourself into action now not only have you created a thought form not only is it emotionally charged but you're also doing something about it physically so other thought forms other people will la- naturally latch themselves onto you be attracted to you that help bring that plan into fruition so that's why it's really important that when you're manifesting something not just talk about it not just think about it not just you know have it in your vision board or book or journal about it but actually put physical actions into motion the universe lacks action energy lacks action when you act then things are propelled forward be touched on all three on the mental faculty emotional faculty and physical faculty so to conclude everything i just want to add my four and my four is why mindful practices in fact mindful daily practices are important i'm going to quote hill again for the present it is sufficient if you remember that you are living daily in the midst of all manner of thought impulses which are reaching your subconscious mind without your knowledge so it's simply quoting here like if you do not program your subconscious mind somebody else will and we know this because if you are if you are not actively putting in good nutrients into your subconscious mind it's going to be programmed for you by somebody else that wants something from you and then obviously it's going to cause havoc in your own life because now what you are wanting you're not actually getting and things are just happening to you whereas it's not really happening to you you just allowed somebody else to program your subconscious mind and we all have the power to reprogram our subconscious mind whenever we want and we can use binary isotonic sounds hypnotherapy subliminals there's so many meditation there's so much or so many tools in fact that we can use to reprogram our subconscious mind and i find that also with, within the journey of becoming your best version you will need to continuously work on yourself it might mean that yes you might have done some subconscious reprogramming 5 years ago but then now you're at a different point in your life you might need to reprogram it again and that's okay because we're all students of life here don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell that way you can bless somebody else's timeline with this video so with that being said let me know guys if you want a part 2 of think and grow rich and why it's a spiritual book because there's so much that I want to talk about but we run out of time love and light my love ciao